Welcome to the second video lecture for chapter 15. In this video, I'll be reviewing and covering thermal processes. We can assume that throughout the system, for any of the processes below, that the temperature and pressure will remain the same, or it's, the, it's constant throughout. Um, this just means that there's not like one corner of an engine that has a different temperature than another. So we're going to assume that. Now, there are four processes that we're going to look at. Isobaric, this, to, to, ugh, this one is constant pressure. Isochoric, this refers to constant volume. Isothermal, this is constant temperature. Iso is the kind of root for that constant, and then we have baric, auric, and thermal. They each have pressure, volume, and then thermal um, temperature right there, so you can kind of get that. Um, and then adiabatic is the last uh, process. This includes, no, this occurs with no transfer of thermal energy. Only work is done. And with, here we go a little bit more in depth. Isobaric means that the pressure remains constant. In this case, thermal energy is added. There is work done by the gas. So as the thermal energy is added, it uh, causes the molecules to increase their internal energy, and therefore um, it expands, the volume increases, work is done by the gas, whereas we will look at this as negative work being done on the system. Here is a pressure and volume graph uh, for what an isobaric process would look like. We have the pressure remaining constant, it's a flat horizontal line, and the volume is increasing. So we have some change in volume as uh, the pressure remains constant due to some thermal energy being added. The work is the area under the curve. This here is the work done by the gas. What we will be more concerned with is the work done on the system. So in this case, the work by the gas is positive, where the work done on the system is negative. For the derivation, in order to find the work, it's pressure is force over area, and so the area under the curve, um, force over area, and if you multiply that by volume, the area of volume divided by area is equal to distance or displacement, and so now we have force times displacement, and therefore you get the work. Um, once again, this is the work done by the system, and what we are more concerned with is the work done on the system. So we'll be looking at that. So it's just the opposite symbol. So if the system is doing positive work, then the work done on the system will be negative. An isochoric uh, process it occurs when there is a constant volume. No work is done either on the system or by the system but rather the pressure increases as heat is added. Um, this is all often for a combustion engine. This is the combustion process. This is where whatever the gas is, um, is it combusts, so that that way thermal energy is added and it increases the pressure. Third process, or the third one that we'll talk about, is an isothermal process. In this case, heat is removed from the gas or added to it. So that either way, to keep that the temperature of the gas is constant. So the temperature remains constant. The work is done. Um, this depends on the initial and final volume. And we have the formula down here at the bottom where the work um, by the gas is equal to nRT, um, natural log of the final uh, volume divided by the initial volume. Um, but the idea here is that in order to keep the temperature constant, um, thermal energy is either added to the system from the surroundings or removed from the system. The isothermal process will follow along one of the, an isotherm on the PV graph. So there's that kind of, there's those, um, it's a hyperbola which is because it's the inverse of uh, the pressure and volume are inverses of each other. So the process here will follow along one of those hyperboles.
An adiabatic process occurs when the full, when all three pressure, volume, and temperature change, and there's no heat transfer into the gas. Um, in this case, it's in a insulated container, so that's always a giveaway. If the um, if any problem or question says that the process is uh, that it contains in a as an insulated container here or something like that, uh, that process includes that it is an adiabatic thing. There's no thermal energy transferred into the, the gas or out of it either way. Um, so temperature, pressure, and volume all change in this. Um, so it moves from one isotherm to another isotherm. For an adiabatic process, the heat is uh, added to the system or taken away is zero. So that means that the work is equal to the change in internal energy for the work done on the system. Once again, this kind of confusing idea here, but we're worrying about the work done on the system. So we have work done on the system is equal to uh, three halves number of moles R gas constant times change in temperature. So a pretty straightforward way to find the amount of work done. So just remember that the heat is equal to zero in this situation. Thank you very much and have a great night.